everyone, this is Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. Today we're gonna to be making Christmas cards. We're gonna be working with designer series paper and I'm gonna show you some great ways to conserve your 12 by 12 paper to make the most out of it for this holiday season. So let's go ahead and get started with today's project. All right, let's start by looking at the stamp set and the dies. So the stamp I'll be using is the Sweet Little Stockings and this is one that if you're a pet lover, you're gonna love because of the cute little animals it has in it. Then also the dies that coordinate with this are called the stocking dies. These have really surprised me because I found that there's a lot of really fun dies I didn't notice the first time I looked at them. So I can't wait to show you what you can do with these. Now, the star of today's video is going to be designer series paper. So let me show you the designer series paper that comes in this collection. All right, we have this one here with the sweet stockings. We have this one here, this one here, and this one here. So these four pieces all feature some cute little critters, dogs and cats, there's a bird, a mouse, etc. And so that's those are, are really fun. And then also in the collection, you have a piece that looks like this with Christmas lights on it. And then the final piece that you have in this collection is this piece here, which I didn't cut into a four by four square because the beauty of this piece is that you can take the dies and you can die cut all of the stockings on this page. So you can see there's a large die for the large stocking, a medium and a small for the small, okay? So this is the only piece of paper I didn't cut up because we wanna use this with our dies. All right, now let's take a look at the other side of the paper. So on the stocking side, you have this nice star print. And then on these here, you have this piece, which is a nice pool party checked print. And then on these, you can see that the top two are kind of Christmassy, but the bottom two, uh, although they're in traditional Christmas colors, you could use them for any occasion cards. So this is a great set of paper to have even beyond the holidays. All right, so I'm gonna show you how you can take a four by four square and make three different cards. For card number one, we're gonna be working with a five and a half by eight and a half basic white. I'm gonna fold this in half. And this first card is gonna be a super basic, simple Christmas card. So then we're gonna take a four by five and a quarter piece of old olive, and I'm just gonna add adhesive. So no texture, nothing, just cardstock to cardstock, okay? So we're gonna glue this down right here. Next, you're gonna choose a piece of designer series paper. So you could use pretty much any one of these would work on this card, but I'm gonna go ahead with the pet theme and I'm gonna choose this one with the sweet stockings, okay? So then I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna add my adhesive to my four by four square and then I'm gonna glue this down. Now, the only thing that we need on this card to complete it is a sentiment and for Two of the projects tonight, I'm going to be using these two dies, which are from the Hippo and Friends collection. So on this card right here, I'm gonna get out that shape that I die cut with basic white cardstock. And then I'm gonna be stamping with an image from the Holly Jolly Wishes. I'll be stamping, tis the season to be jolly. And then I'm gonna get out my stamp and I'm gonna stamp right there in the center. Okay, and then let me turn this over. I'm gonna add a couple of dimensionals to the back. Pop off the backing and that's gonna go right there. And then you could leave this card just as it is or you could embellish it with a jewel rhinestone right there on the J, okay? So this is card number one. You can see how quick and simple that was. So let me show you what it looks like with some of the other patterns. So here it is featuring that gorgeous Labrador there. And then here it is with this cat that I love with the little antlers, okay? So you can see that you could just do really quick cards using that full four by four square as your focal point of your card. All right, now let's move on to card number two. So we are gonna start with a four and a quarter by eight and a half piece of cherry cobbler, and we're gonna fold it in half. So when you have four and a quarter by eight and a half and you fold it in half, you now are creating a square card. And so the way that your DSP will work is you'll take this four by four DSP, we're gonna put adhesive on the back, and this time we're gonna cover up the cute pet print and we are going to use this green striped print, okay? And so now we have a square card, all right? The next thing that we're gonna do is take another four by four square. But this time I'm gonna get out my paper trimmer 
and I'm gonna take this piece and I'm going to cut it in half. So it's four by four. So I'm gonna line it up at the two inches and I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay, so now I have two pieces of this really cute pet print. So with this first piece here, I'm going to put some adhesive on the back and then I'm going to just glue this at the bottom of our card front. And then for this piece here, I'm gonna take a circle punch and I'm gonna punch a little out of the top. And then I'm gonna turn this into a gift card pocket. So I'm gonna put glue on the side, across the bottom, and up the other side. And then when I open up the card, I'm gonna place this at the bottom so that we'll have room to hold a gift card. All right, so for the focal point of this card, we are gonna use this as a base. This is a large die cut piece from the Hippo and Friend dies. And then I'm gonna use this white cardstock here, which is one by two and a half. And I'm going to be stamping that with this stamp that says Santa Paws is coming to town. Okay, and so then we're gonna go ahead and stamp that right in the center. And then we are going to mount that to this cherry cobbler piece of cardstock. And the cherry cobbler cardstock is one and a quarter by two and three fourths. All right, next I'm gonna get out my stamps of the little dog. I'm gonna stamp the dog. And I'm going to stamp the hat. And then I would grab my dies and I would take the dies that coordinate with that and I would just line it up over the top. So we have the dog and we have the... I would run that through my stamp and cut and emboss machine and then I would color those and the end result will be a cute little dog that looks like this and a cute little hat that looks like that, okay? So now all the pieces are done, let's put this card together. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue back here. I'm gonna add the hat to the dog and I'm gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna add some adhesive right here at the bottom by the paws. And then I'm gonna pick it up and flip it over and I'm gonna add it to the front of the tag, okay? Now once I've got it on there, because it's only being held by this tiny little bit, I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna take a dimensional and I'm gonna stick a dimensional right there to hold it together. And then I'm going to take and put two more dimensionals on each side of this tag, okay? and then I will peel those off and I will center this onto this tag here. All right, so now we have the base card and our focal point. And so the unique thing that we're gonna do is we could put this right here and it would create a square card, but what I wanna do instead is I wanna use an envelope as a measuring tool so I can actually put it underneath here like this. And I wanna raise this up a little bit just to place him up here on the um, top of the card. So I'm gonna put some dimensionals just right here at the bottom on each side. And then because I wanna really make sure this is gonna hold well, I'm gonna put one there as well. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna flip this around. And then I'm just gonna use this as a guide and I'm going to place that so that it goes right there across the top of the card, okay? And so now you have just a unique focal point. So it, it's the size of a full side standard card, but it is featuring that four by four square and it is also a gift card holder, okay? So um, with this particular card, you do have a cat. So you could do a version with the cat here. So depending on if you're more of a cat person than a dog person. Um, another thing that you can do is you could flip this DSP over and then you could feature the other side and it'll still look really cute as well. Okay, we have one more card to work on and this is my favorite card of the bunch. We're gonna do a photo card, so let's move on to that. For our photo card, we are gonna start with a four by nine and a quarter piece of basic white cardstock, okay? Then I'm gonna get out my paper trimmer and we are going to take this piece here, four by four, and we are gonna cut it so that we just take one inch off of it. So place it in here and cut it, okay? So now I have a one by four and a three by four. I'm gonna take the one by four, add some adhesive, and I'm gonna glue that up here at the top. Then I'm gonna take the three by four and I'm gonna glue that down at the bottom. For the next step, I'm gonna take a basic white and a cherry cobbler. 
This white frame here has been cut at two by three and a quarter, and then this is two and a quarter by three and a half, okay? And then I'm gonna simply stamp that with the sentiment that we're working with. It says, tis the season to be jolly. Okay, so now we're gonna take this piece, we're gonna flip it over, we're gonna add adhesive to the back, and then we're going to put this on here like so. And then we can just glue this down flat or we can add dimensionals to the back. Okay, so at this point, remember I told you about this wonderful DSP? All I did was I chose a stocking, I used my die and I ran it through my die cutting machine and out came this adorable little stocking. So I'm gonna flip this around and I'm going to add two dimensionals to the back. And you can get so many stockings out of, the, out of that piece that you could really easily reproduce this card a bunch of times. And then that's just gonna go right there. Okay, and then we're going to finish up with just one little rhinestone, okay? So, so this is just a sweet and simple Christmas greeting, but really what the focal point is, is whatever photo you put on it. So here is this sweet card finished with this sweet photo. Well, I have another sample to show you that's stepped up a little bit, but before I do, I wanna show you one other thing. So also in the dies is this shape here, which which is great to use as a layer on your card, but I just punched a hole in the top and I created it into a gift tag. And you can see I used the same DSP, but this time I cut the DSP into a two by two square. So again, there's no waste. If you cut the whole um, paper up to make tags, you would have no waste um, using a two by two square. And then I just die cut a stocking the same way. And then these little holly and the berries, they also come in the stocking size and um, I just think they are so adorable. I've been using this a lot on the projects I've been creating recently. And, um, and then the other thing I wanna show you is the stamp to and from. What's nice about that is they come separated. So you can move them around on your block to have as much or a little space as you need. Sometimes to and from come together, but these are separated. So you can, you can space them out however you want, okay? So you have this sweet photo card, a sweet little tag. And now let me show you kind of a stepped up version of a photo card that uses the dies. I die cut some of the pieces from the stocking dies out. Um, you can stamp and then die cut, but I just did this right out of red cardstock. And then you can see how quick it is to just glue this together, maybe pop some dimensionals behind that one. And then you can tuck whatever you want into the stocking here here, add some rhinestones, and you make this cute little stocking, and then this is what it looks like when it's on a card. Isn't that sweet? So all I did was just take the different dies from the stocking dies and then layer them together. And then this paper here comes from Peaceful Christmas. So then all you have to do for this card is just add your photo, and that really makes a beautiful completed photo card. And again, this is a three by four, this is a one by four separate the two and you will have a photo card in no time. I want to end this video today by saying a special thanks to all of you who have supported my launch week. Thank you for purchasing my mystery boxes. Thank you for coming to my premieres and thank you for just all the words of encouragement and support you've sent my way. It has been such an exciting week over at stampedwithaloha.com and I hope you'll continue to check back and see all the classes and events that I'm hosting there. It's always fun to share projects with you and there's still plenty of more projects I'll be sharing for this holiday season. So I hope you'll come back and stamp with me again soon. Until then, aloha.